In our lab today, we investigated how current, voltage, and resistance are all related. And the law that describes this relationship is called Ohm's Law. It says that the current in a circuit is directly proportional to the voltage applied and inversely proportional to the resistance. So I'd like you to take these notes in your concept catalog. So we can write current equals directly proportional to voltage. So it's going to be voltage and inversely proportional to resistance, resistance on the bottom. We'll write this again using symbols. Current is the symbol I, voltage is V, resistance, capital R. And as far as units go, the units for our current is amps. We can write amps underneath there just to be clear. And we can write units next to here just to be clear. And next to V, that would be our volts. Actually, I'm going to keep it with a similar way of showing that. So volts, capital V, and that means volts. And R, the symbol for resistance here, I mean the units for resistance are ohms. And it has a funny shape. It's actually the Greek letter omega a little bit more rounded, kind of like that. And this is ohms. Okay, so let's, um, and with this equation, of course, we can write it three different ways. This is one way of writing it, but we should also be able to do algebra to get it into this form, V equals, and we should also be able to get it into this form, R equals. And so if you look at this equation here, if we want to isolate V, we would just have to multiply both sides by R. So R cancels out, and we can see here that V equals I times R. And we could do another algebra step on this form. If we want to put it into R form to get resistance by itself, just divide both sides by I. I's cancel, and now we have R equals V over I. So you should be completely comfortable at this stage being able to convert between these three forms. Let's take a look at an example. A circuit is made by connecting a 6 volt battery to a light bulb. If the resistance of the light bulb is 2 ohms, how much current will flow through the circuit? And of course, as you'll notice, this should be a lowercase h. Alright, so uh, let's write down what we're given. We know that the voltage is 6 volts. We know that the resistance of the light bulb, R, is 2 ohms. And we're being asked to find the current. So we can use I equals V over R. 6 volts divided by 2 ohms equals 3 amps. In our lab today, we learned how to measure voltage using a voltmeter. And in a future lab, we'll learn how to measure current using the same multimeter, multimeter, but set for measuring current. Okay, so on the next slide, I'm going to present a little summary of the major of these three major ideas: current, voltage, and resistance. So um, here's the table, and I um, suggest that you copy this into your concept catalog because it's a pretty complete summary here. It has the variable, so it has the variable here, current, and the symbol for that as a definition. It also shows here the unit for measuring that concept and the symbol for that unit. And it also gives a definition for that unit. So current is defined as the rate of flow of charges. Its unit is 1 uh, its unit here, oh, yikes, um, let's try it a different way here. Okay, its unit is one amp, and a one amp is defined as one coulomb per one second. All right, so if you have any, I guess one thing I will notice, point out here is that um, we're not really going to refer to this definition of an ohm so much as one volt over one amp, but that directly comes from using Ohm's law. Okay, that's all. See you in class.